<laughs> it broke? What the? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because it has been such a hot minute since we reviewed any e.l.f. collections and it is the new e.l.f. collaboration with American Eagle. I bought the eyeshadow palette and I bought the lip balm. I did not buy the jean bag or the cheek and butt mask because I was like, how do you review that? <laughs> so you guys want to see what my thoughts are on this collection. Is it worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. gosh guys i am so excited i have not been excited about an elf collection since they did the elf duncan collection i talked to you guys about this last week when i did the new makeup release video how excited i was to pick up the collection and it's here i am so excited and i'm also wearing my jean jacket because i feel like since we're doing a denim days review with the elf collaboration with american eagle we gotta we, we gotta we gotta rock we gotta rock the jean jacket so Let's go ahead and dive into this collection. So first off, we do have the Denim Days palette right here. Now this actually does retail for $16. You are gonna have 12 matte and shimmery shades made to wear with your favorite jeans in this palette. First off, the outside packaging is super, super cute. I love that they have a little tag, like they do with like all the jeans, has a nice little tag. It is so freaking cute. I love that little added touch. Plus I love the feel of this. This has like a nice like matte feel to it. It just, I don't know it's really aesthetic pleasing and it also like matches this very well and they open it on the inside this is how the palette is going to look first off i think the color scheme is absolutely beautiful it's a very cool tone blue brown neutral palette and i just feel like it does such a great job at capturing the essence of jeans like when i see this i see jeans i really do i get inspired i mean all the names are like cute overalls mom jeans indigo bell bottoms night and 905 vibes like what low rise you guys remember the low rise like i used to be a huge low rise person back in the day and like looking back at it i'm like <laughs> how did my like the jj fit in that you know what i mean like there was like barely any room between my lady bits and where the jeans started like how low those rides were but it was all the phase it was the phase in the early 2000s but i'm so excited because this palette like truly does remind me of american eagle so freaking cute next we do have the american eagle this is the perfect fit lip balm right here and this actually does retail for eight dollars and this is a ph check this is a ph technology magically transforms from a dark blue tone into your own perfect cool lips so it's going to be like a nice little pinky tone it says use on lips apply one to two coats then press lips together to activate use as often as desired so i'm really excited to give this a go and then the only thing i didn't pick up like i said was the cheeky like clay mask that's for your cheeks and your cheeks your little boom boom your little bumbity bum my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like uh, it's better than yours that's what that's for and i was like how how would i review that like how would i genuinely review that and also like <laughs> do i stand do i just rub it on my butt and then just stand and be like all right can't sit for 10 minutes like how would that if someone gets it please let me know how this works i'm genuinely so curious i'd want to know all the details so like i'm creepy like that just tell me someone gets it <laughs> and then lastly if you guys bought the pr box you would get like the jean makeup bag now i actually did see people get this in pr they really do like the jean makeup bag i'm glad i didn't get it just because at the end of the day realistically i would never use it like i genuinely would just not use it it's super cute but i'm actually kind of glad i passed on it so with that said guys we're gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in we're gonna start to play this palette and i'm gonna let you guys know whether or not this was worth it also i wanted to let you guys know if you guys did not see elf is releasing new products as of the 7th and the 9th they have their whole halo glow lines they're gonna have contour and blush wands just like you see with charlotte tilbury and tart elf is officially rolling out their own contour and blush wands yes i'll be picking them up they'll be they'll be available on elf's website starting april 7th and at ulta on april 9th which i am so excited for but it is really glowy so i don't know how much i'd actually like it though Ooh. Alrighty, guys so we're gonna go ahead i feel like i've never done a makeup re review before because i just sat here for like a minute or two and go what do i do <laughs> god okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do like a little cute little cut, cut crease today i i can't talk so we're gonna go into the shade called indigo and we're gonna put that in our crease area so 
I am roughly 5'1", so I absolutely love shopping American Eagle, but it has always been like very hard for me to find a pair of jeans that fit me beautifully. So when I discovered American Eagle back when I was like in 10th or 11th grade, I realized that they created shorts, they created pants that literally say short, long, and regular. And that's what made me fall in love with the brand because it is so hard to find pants that generally fit me because of how short I am. And I literally tell all my tall friends you guys have no idea how lucky you are like you guys can always find a pair of pants that's gonna look nice on you even when i get like the short even when i get the short pants um literally they still kind of drag on the ground so they always end up getting like ruffled and are they crunching i don't know it's always like a rough time so i envy those who can wear just regular jeans because i feel like you guys can find jeans anywhere for me i just have to go kind of like certain spots which definitely just gets oh, i forgot my little eye tape which definitely just gets like a little annoying, but I think it's such a, such a cute idea that Elf is collaborating with American Eagle. I've always loved American Eagle. Like that was my go-to store, especially all in 11th grade. I bought every single tank top and pair of boy shorts and undies that I could find and jeans. And well, I mean, I didn't buy it. My mom bought it for me because I was 11th grade at the time. And I don't know, I just freaking fell in love with that brand. I still buy clothes from them to this day. But it's so funny because so many of you guys always ask me like where I get my clothes from. I always buy actually a lot of my clothes from Target. But if I ever need like a really cute tank top or a really cute pair of jeans or shorts, American Eagle is where it's at. So I just think it's so cute that um, Elf is collaborating with them. It's a little different too. I have not seen any like person collaborate with Elf, uh, Elf. I've not seen any person collaborate with American Eagle before. So this is actually really cute. That is really, really, really messy, but we are going to make it work. So I hope everybody had a really good weekend. Uh, this past weekend, we went to MegaCon and that is like a convention where a lot of celebrities, voice actors, cosplayers, anime voice actors, um, artists and stuff come out. They sell their works. They talk about cool, essentially nerdy stuff. I freaking love it. I go every year and we went this year and we went on Saturday, which Saturday is the busiest day to go, by the way, it's super busiest day to go. So it was unbelievably crowded. And being a really short person has its downfalls because I'm like, you know, armpit level with everybody. And like you're packed in there like sardines, barely able to move going up and down the aisles and it, it it gets really claustrophobic but then you realize how many people in the world just freaking stink i'm like dude it's florida my god it's florida put some deodorant on i'm right there at the nose armpit level and it's just uh. <laughs> but we definitely had a lot of fun we were supposed to meet up with Teresa and alex but because Teresa has i'm blaming her she has horrible cell service I am blaming her, she knows this. We were trying so hard to meet up, but we kept missing each other. Um, so we weren't able to meet up, sadly. We had been planning it for so long to like hang out that entire day, but it just didn't end up working out. So I'm kind of bummed about it, but I'm hoping that we can go do some of that again, even though I believe I actually saw her do it, get ready with me. And she kind of talked about how um, she didn't like it. <laughs> I warned her too, like I warned them. I said, hey, I don't think you guys realize this is the biggest event here in Central Florida. I'm gonna go into the shade called Mom Jeans. And I warned her, I was like, this is the biggest event, biggest event in Central Florida. I think you might want to be prepared. I don't know if you're really prepared for how crowded it was. And I think they definitely got a, an awakening of how crowded it truly does get at MegaCon. I mean, like we literally had to buy parking passes ahead of time and I've never had to do that before. Like normally we just park in this one area, but they actually ended up making that a parking pass zone. So luckily Teresa was actually, um, caught on and was like, Hey, we need to buy parking passes. So I'm so grateful for her that she was able to do that. And then you have to shuttle over and I like shuttling on the charter bus because it just reminds me of being on field trips when I was, when I was a kid and I really enjoyed that, but whew, it was super freaking crowded. And then on Monday, this is like the cheesiest thing, but on Monday was the premiere of Happily Ever After over at Magic Kingdom. And Happily Ever After was the fireworks show that replaced Wishes, which I still miss Wishes. But I really, really loved Happily Ever After and it disappeared for about 18 months as long, it disappeared for about 18 months. And they said it wasn't gonna come back because Disney wanted to roll out their new, a new fireworks show, but they actually ended up bringing it back. So it came back on um, April 3rd and Corey and I went to go watch it. And we actually stood on top of the train station this time because we wanted to see down Main Street to see the entire show because normally I'm standing up by the castle. But again, I have really, really bad claustrophobia. So I saw people, we got there like around four and the map people that were already sitting down waiting for the fire show, I was like, I can't, 
I can't, I can't be up here because I'm going to end up freaking out because I just have bad claustrophobia and I just can't do really tight and closed spaces, especially being surrounded by a ton of people. I don't know. I just start to like hyperventilate and I just, I just, I don't do well. <laughs> like I generally don't do well. This is laying down so nicely, but I am going to take my Dominique cosmetic setting powder right here and I'm just going to kind of just like buff it just a little bit more. Um, so we, I just, I, I can't, so we ended up going to the top of the train station was just so well worth it. And I actually posted a little short, if you guys have not seen it, I posted it on, um, TikTok and on YouTube shorts of me singing the last like 45 seconds of happily ever after. You can really hear how bad my singing is because I was like screaming on top of my lungs singing happily ever after because I truly am that I'm a Disney adult. I am a Disney adult to true and through. I'm obsessed with Disney and you could just blame my parents because they, I literally grew up at Disney. My parents had a job here long before I was ever born and I grew up in the world of Disney. So the love that I have for it is like no other. <laughs> so yes, I was singing on top of my lungs, but it was so cool because so were so many other people all singing happily ever after. It was like a really cool thing. And Jordan Fisher, who is the voice, he was actually there too. And I actually met him. I met him in the summer. That's laying down really nicely. I'm gonna kind of go back in with that shade Indigo one more time or just kind of like stamp that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease out with my um, concealer. All right, so I'm gonna take my Singe Beauty. This is the E01 brush. I'm gonna use this to cut the crease today. Uh, I, you know, I have to say, I, you know, you guys know that I had an issue back in December with e.l.f. And the whole freaking advent calendar, which I probably was still, I, I probably won't get that again just because they sent me a freaking mystery box. But um, the e.l.f. mystery box, I got an advent calendar. But I have to say, I'm still like so floored by how amazing the customer service is because the customer service was incredibly kind. And they watched my YouTube video because they told me they watched my YouTube video. And it probably didn't help that I did send it to them because I was trying to prove a point that like, hey, I'm not lying. This is what I got instead of like what you guys advertised. And... <laughs> Corey's like, you shot yourself in the foot. Like you will never be on their PR list because you, you know, complained about the box you got. And I said, well, it was false advertisement. So it's a little unfortunate because that I kind of, you know, did that. But I will say at the end of the day, I'm still really impressed with how the customer service handled everything that I still have no problem shopping their brand because they were actually really sweet. And I was nice to them. Don't think I was like mean or anything. I was actually really nice to them. Because I'm just, I'm, I understand that like it's not that person's fault. You know what I mean? I have to say this indigo shade is laying down really nicely. I was kind of skeptical about it at first when I was swatching it. But it actually has a lot of pigment to it. So it's making me kind of like it more than what I thought I was going to. So I was like, oh, I don't know. It looks a little patchy. But surprisingly, it's laying down rather nicely. Although right there, they're having a little bit of patchiness. Just a little bit of patchiness. But we'll see if that can be fixed. So next I'm going to go into the shade called Cute Overall right here. It's down. Um, I will say when it comes to e.l.f. shimmers, they're not my favorite. They're not really that soft, but they do lay down pretty nicely. They're just not the softest in the pan, but as long as I can get them to work, then hey, you know, I'm going to be okay with this. So we're going to lay that down right there. Oh, that's really pretty. Then we're going to go into the shade called 90s Vibe. Aww, the 90s. We're going to put this right here. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the shade called Bell Bottoms right here. It's kind of like a mix of like a hybrid of matte. It's like this color right here, matte and shimmer. And we're just going to kind of place it right here. Just try to blend these two just a little bit more so it's not so harsh. So I'm trying to blend that in just by slightly like tapping that in. So it adds that nice, see how it like adds that blue back into that. Here is the eye look so far. Honestly, I actually really like it. Um, I'm trying to perfect doing different techniques. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. So like doing more cut creases is definitely out of my comfort zone. It's just I feel like I'm definitely not the best at it, but I'm trying. I'm trying. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and we're going to come back to try out the lip balm, do the under eye together. But so far, I will say I'm actually really liking this. This is pretty pigmented, not what I expected. Um, I remember not really caring for the Duncan collection, but I love the Chipotle collection. That was actually really cute as well. So I will go ahead and do the other eye, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the makeup is on, um, I did go in with the shade called Major Flare to kind of like line my upper lid today for like to mix my lashes with my false lashes. So now that everything's 
things on, we're gonna go back into this palette once more and we're gonna go into the shade Indigo again and we're gonna tight line this against our waterline. And then we're gonna blend it out with the shade Mom Jeans again because I feel like a light blue would be really pretty. I thought about almost doing brown, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a blue look because it is a jean collection. And I just feel like blue deserves its moment, especially because I really, I feel like I do blue eyeshadow looks, but then like, I feel like I don't at the same time. Like I always do green, orange, yellow. I don't really do blue that often, but if I, if I do, I definitely try to make it like a really pretty like blue eye look. All right, then to blend that out, we're going back into that shade Mom Jeans, a very light shade, and we're gonna start to blend this out right here. You know, I have to say, I actually am quite impressed with this eyeshadow palette, just because I know that like the little four pan palettes from e.l.f. are not really that impressive to me. It's why I really don't get them that often, because I just don't really care too much for the formula. But this, this is kind of impressive. <laughs> it's kind of impressive. So last but not least to try out, we do have this perfect fit. This is a lip balm right here. So I'm gonna check this out. It's a blue lip balm. And oh my God, this is actually really, really cute. And it's supposed to like be like a perfect like pink color for you. So like, I don't, it broke. What the broke? No, I literally just put this on and it just sh freaking shattered. No, what do I do? It's like no saving this. Uh, what is that? All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking cry if I don't get something in my eye. What, I, what was that? I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> 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 what? Kevin, what? what? All right, I'm gonna put on some lip liner at least. We're gonna try to make this work. I cannot believe that literally I put it on and it just freaking broke. That's sad. But you know what? It's only $8. It's not like I broke, you know, it's, it's only $8. It's not like I, you know, broke the bank getting it, but still, I wasn't expecting it to break like that. So I'm just gonna sharpen my pencil. I'm using the Jean Luc Cosmetics. This is the Mother Pucker lip liner. You guys know my favorite one is the Jacqueline Cosmetics bourbon lip liner, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I generally don't know where it is. Oh, it's in my book bag. Well, I went to sharpen that and nothing's happening like there's literally nothing happening is that it it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up i don't think this is sharp y'all i'm not having any luck right now what is happening what is happening? I'm not having any luck right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I don't think this is a sharpenable pencil. Then how do you get these things to work if they're not sharpenable? Okay, okay. Well, we just wasted half a product, but. <laughs> All right, let's line our lips. Okay, and now let's try out this lip balm one more time. It just really sucks because it is just freaking breaking. And let's. Fill this in. Is this this is my pH balance? So let's give you that perfect pink. Uh, and this is more. Oh, we gotta activate it. We gotta activate it. It's like taking away the lip liner, which is really, really weird. It's going all over there. Very, very weird. And now it won't. It won't close, y'all. It won't. It it won't go down. It won't go down. Shoot, what do I do? It looks like I ate it. It looks like I ate it. Oh no, my God. <sighs> All right, guys, let me go ahead and zoom you guys out. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the final look. So let's just go for this really quickly. So first we do have the American Eagle. This is the Denim Days palette. This retails for $16. You get 12 beautiful shades in here. Cool tone, blue, brown, silver shades. I absolutely do think this is such a cute palette. Truly such a cute palette. I think it's definitely well worth the price point. I mean, the mattes were really pigmented. There wasn't a lot of kick up in the pan, no fallout on the face. 
like they blend it really beautifully. They're really easy to work with. They blend very easily with the shimmers. And for me, even though the shimmers do feel a little hard pan, like they do not feel soft at all. I feel like, like they're really beautiful. I didn't need to lay I didn't need to lay down any glitter glue. I had no issues whatsoever getting to, to the shimmer to perform. I just felt like it was overall a really nice formula in this palette, which really kind of, I guess shouldn't be surprising because I really did enjoy the Chipotle collection. I didn't like the Duncan, but I really actually like this. I think the little aesthetic is super cute. It looks like a jean. It kind of feels like a jean. I love the little tag right here. The little tag is just a cute little touch to the palette. And overall, I just think it's adorable. And for it being $16, I definitely think this is well worth the price point. I'm so excited that I got it. I would definitely be using this again. I really like the eye look that I came up with. I think it's super, 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 super cute. Then we have the, um, the pH lip balm right here. And this retails for $8. Ah, I do not think this is worth it and I definitely would not get this again the color of my lips I don't know if it's necessarily it mixing with like the lip liner and whatnot but I just feel like it's it's comfortable it's really comfortable it feels like I'm just wearing chapstick but it, it almost makes my lips look a little bruised like I kind of bruised my lip it's not really wanting to mix well with the lip liner which is really weird because I've never had that issue before but I don't know, I guess I'm just not a big fan of the color. And obviously I don't like the fact that it is, look, it looks like I chewed on it. Okay, it looks like I ate this lipstick. It came in broken. I don't really know <laughs> what to do about it. I mean, it's super, super, I mean, like literally it looks like there's freaking teeth marks in here, okay? It's super creamy. Like it's really, really soft. Like, it, like it's like chapstick. And maybe that's why it broke so easily. I don't know, but this is something I'm really not gonna reach for again. So if you wanna get anything in this collection, you can definitely skip on this. I don't think it's worth it in my personal opinion, but you know what? It is a cute packaging. Um, I obviously don't have the cheek mask to review for you guys or the jean or the jean um, makeup bag but I'm also okay that I don't have those either like I feel like I'm not missing out so overall super cute collection if I were to suggest anything I think it'd just be the palette if you guys want to get it but I also feel like you're not missing out the fuck's that noise hello hello Oh my God, it's Alex. <laughs> Lily in the middle of finishing out my outro for the American Eagle video, which you will see later today. And I just started hearing like this weird, like buzzing noise. And I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? Cause I have my phone on a stand right now and I have it on the floor and I'm looking at my window and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's you, I'm gonna leave that in the video. I mean, you should. I'm going to. I'm going to. Because that literally, I was like, what is that? <laughs> okay, that was Alex calling me. I was like, what is that? I'm going crazy. And that was Alex. So as I was saying, I didn't get the jean makeup bag or the cheeky thing. And honestly, I'm okay. I don't feel like I missed on the collection. I feel like if I was going to recommend anything, it would be the eyeshadow palette. But even then, as much as I really like this, I don't feel like you have to get it. If you have like a blue, silver, brown eyeshadow palette, you really don't need this. It, you just, I only recommend getting it if you want to have something cute or something that's like limited edition from American Eagle that's that's what I'd be recommending it but other than that like don't feel like you have to run and get it as much as I love it you know it's a cute palette but it's not something like you need to have so I had a lot of fun we definitely had some hiccups along the way but that's why I love doing these reviews so that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already said to post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful page members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye ask for the all right so so first so Next we do, but I'm so excited because <laughs> um, this is the Dimon, the Dimon.